The one operator we've not looked at yet is this not equal to. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of using that. The first one is I've just changed up my program so I've got the username variable as a string and I've asked the user to enter their name and I've saved that into the username variable. So what I'm going to do now is get my program to display to either greet them by name if they've entered a name or to tell them they haven't entered a name. So basically if they type anything into the name variable I want to greet them by name. So if username and then I'm going to put is not equal and I'm just going to open speech, open and close speech marks like that. If username is not equal to, and if I open and close speech marks like that, that means blank. Then, and I'll put in a message that says, hello. And username, just like we did when we were doing the variables tutorials. Hello, username. And then I'm going to have an else, which says, you didn't enter a name. There we go. You didn't enter a name. It's mysterious, aren't you? There we go. So, this not equal to checks the username variable. And if it's not blank, so if there's anything in it whatsoever, it gives you a hello username message. If it is blank, it says you didn't enter a name. Mysterious, aren't you? So this not equals is really useful. Um, it helps when you're thinking about problems sometimes, instead of thinking about being the same as, to think, could it be not the same as? Does that cover more options? Does that make it easier for me to think about my algorithm, think about how my code is going to work? Let's try that. Please enter your name. Kali, to see, but we can type you quickly. There we go. Greeted by name. Next time, leave it blank. You didn't enter your name. Mysterious, aren't you? Because it was this check that it was not equal to blank it wasn't true. So. We're not at the stage yet where we're going to loop back and get them to try again in this situation, but once we start learning about loops, we can start to apply that, and that's where our programs start to become useful and a bit more user-friendly. In the next video, we're going to look at having two checks, two different conditions in your if statement.